Hi, it's Pam Malone with my celebrity paintings, which is why my website is celebrityartbypam.com. This is, of course, Marilyn Monroe, and I'm very inspired by her. This is Marilyn as a movie star in her more charismatic look. Uh, I read a wonderful book called Marilyn, The Passion and the Paradox by Lois Banner. And in fact, I wrote a book review for the Redwood Coast Review about that book. And I think it inspired me because she was so fascinating. She was really a combination of things. And that's the first painting. And here comes the next one called essence of Marilyn, in which I'm interested perhaps in Norma Jean to some extent. Remember, inside of that rich movie star was a very vulnerable girl who had been abused and who had ha had a horrible mother, and all of that played into who she became. This is Marilyn Tragedian, in which I try to get into what she might have felt like inside. And this is actually, I was painting in acrylic for a very long time and decided to try oil. And this is my first oil painting and I'm happy with it. And speaking of tragic figures who died too young, Amy Winehouse, this is called Amy our Amy Winehouse, R.I.P., and I, she's got a kind of aura around her here, and she had such tragedy in her voice. Um, it reminded me of um, Lady Day, really. She reminded me of Lady Day. I was inspired by the documentary, Amy, which I highly recommend if you haven't seen it. And this painting of Amy, which has a slightly caricature quality. I, I'm trying to express here the fact that, yes, she had a, a deep sadness which came into her voice, but she also was full of a joy, a real esprit of life, which came through in that documentary. And that one's called Amy. And here we have yet another tragic figure. How come all these celebrities of such tragic lives, the wonderful Whitney Houston, who had the most beautiful, powerful voice. And what I hear in her voice, really, is spirituality. I really, I, I think she was full of grace and holiness and that, that she was destroyed by, of course, drugs. And th that gets us to this painting. This painting is called Heroin. Wait, I gotta get back. It's a very big painting. Gotta still get back further to get that painting in. There, I still don't have the whole painting. I gotta get back further, my goodness. Yeah, it's one of my bigger paintings. This painting, by the way, it's called Heroin. And here you have an innocent little child being engulfed by a monster. And that monster is heroin. Um, the monster is painted in acrylic and the child is painted in oil and we've all, or maybe we haven't all, but many of us have been touched by this horrible epidemic and some I know, one I know, has been successful and recovered and one I knew died. So this is a great tragedy that doesn't just affect celebrities. It affects a lot of us. But we lost Whitney Houston way too soon. And speaking of losing people and tragedies, and may I add possible murder, we have Natalie Wood in Splendor of the Grass. I remember when I saw this, I just was so moved by really the sexuality of the movie Oh my God, Warren Beatty <laughs> and Natalie Wood. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. And it was young love too, beautiful young love. And she was such a great actress, child actress, and then 
great movie star, and it's a loss to all of us. And finally, I love Princess Di. And there's another tragedy and another possible murder, uh, uh, <laughs> depending on how you interpret things. And this painting is called The Martyrdom of Princess Di. So you see a, a crucifix, you see the car in which she was killed, and you see Princess Di. And I'm feeling kind of sad now. I should have put in something happier, but I'm going to close now. If you want to see more of my celebrity paintings, because I do have more, go to CelebrityArtByPam.com. Bye until the next time.